Welcome. In front of me is a Vivo V50 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So to get started, when you boot up your device for the first time, you will be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end, which get, allows you to select your desired language from the list right here. And then once you have done so, click on start and then choose your region. This is completely relevant. Uh, it might have maybe some relevance when it comes down to legal uh, cases, uh, but all in all, probably best if you have the option, select EU. European Union will always have the best laws anyway. So anyway, uh, here we have some agreement and terms. Uh, we just have to select the box. You can also read what you're agreeing to. Moving on to the next page, we have set up using another device. This will allow you to move over data from a old phone using Google account or um, an application by just kind of signing into the say to this device with the same account and moving anything that it can link as it's not really moving the data it's re-downloading it from the internet so for instance contacts are being stored on google cloud applications it just knows what apps were installed on your previous phone so it just tries to re-download them here if it can because you can use ipad ipads won't have all the apps or android won't have the same apps that that ipad does or iphones anyway moving on we have connect to Wi-Fi. This step is completely optional and you can skip this if you don't want to connect to it. But because I also haven't inserted a SIM card into the device, uh, this will prevent me from being able to sign into Google account, restore apps and data, get software updates and have the date and time be automatically set. Now this can all be changed later on after the setup by just either popping in a SIM card or connecting to Wi-Fi, which can do so freely at any point. So moving on, we have a set uh, unlock method and we have screen lock which includes a pin finger fingerprint sorry a pin pattern or password then we have fingerprint and face recognition as a biometrics now you can choose all three options meaning fingerprint face recognition and pin pattern or password but you will never be able to select fingerprint face recognition either one of those two or both of them without a physical way of unlocking the device as biometrics are well, biometrics and they're not 100 percent reliable so on the times where they're not, you would be left with the option to unlock your device through, for instance, pattern. You can also skip protecting your device altogether if you don't want to protect it at all. Next, we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. This is from Google, so let's not kid ourselves. It's not like these options do anything. There is reasons why companies are in class action lawsuits and they always do some shitty shit in the background anyway without your permission. So we could turn this off and we think it's off, but I highly doubt Google decided not to gather diagnostic data. They just won't tell me that they're doing it. Anyway, I should add literally. Anyway, moving on, we have uh, keep the system up to date. So just a way for you to have your phone automatically update overnight. Uh, send user and diagnostic data. Now this is for Vivo now. I'm gonna select disagree. Uh, service recommendations, uh, TWS service. So you can read exactly what this is. Moving on, uh, select system navigation method, uh, up to you, gestures or buttons. I prefer gestures. Get started and this will take us to the home screen. So the device is now set up. Now if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.